My name is Dr. Monica Tadros. I am a double board certified ENT and facial plastic surgeon. I treat a lot of patients with difficulty breathing through their nose, and I want to tell you about a new technology that we have adopted to help us treat patients with nasal obstruction. This product right here um, is put out by a company by the name of Aaron, and they've put out two separate products, so we're going to talk about both of them today. Um, the first product is Vivair and the second is Ryanair. And the only real difference between these products is the length of the probe and the areas of the nose that they're fashioned to treat. So when we look at this um, technology, we're interested in understanding a little bit more about how it actually works. Um, it introduces radio frequency technology, which is just a form of energy delivered to the tissues. And with that technology delivered to the tissues, we're able to shrink the nasal tissues and also to weaken some overactive nerves in the nose. We'll talk more about that shortly. So the smaller probe is the Vivere probe, and that probe we actually use to treat the front part of the nose. So it's short and it works um, with a different temperature control system. The Ryanair probe is longer, so it can get really far back in the nose and help us treat areas of nerve irritability. The reason why I love this product is because of how it's been able to improve my success with in-office procedures. It is essentially non-surgical treatment. It's incisionless, there are no cuts, and it's done under topical and local anesthesia. Um, the best part about it is patients come in in a matter of minutes, their, their tissues are treated, they go home the same day and are back at work the following day with no downtime. So I wanna tell you a little bit about the anatomy of the nose. The tissue in the nose is called the nasal turbinates. That's the tissue that filters the air, humidifies the air, and when it's working really well, um, helps with nasal breathing. When Something goes wrong with the turbinate tissue, that's also the tissue that causes nasal congestion and can cause blockage in the nose. Next to the turbinates in the middle, we have one septum. So problems with the septum, such as a deviated septum, can also cause nasal obstruction. Um, septums that are in the middle can also have inflammation of that tissue. Um, and even though those septums may be straight, they have things called septal swell bodies or swelling of the tissue um, in, around the septum. That can also disrupt the flow of air in the nose. The last part that we're gonna look at here is the nasal valve area. So that's the side wall of the nose. And when patients have weakness along the side wall of the nose, it collapses inward and makes it hard to breathe. These patients might say that they feel better with um, when they pull their cheeks out, that may expand the airway and allow more air to to pass through the nose. Um, those patients also may find themselves sleeping better with things like breathe right strips that also expand the nasal airway and work on the lateral side wall. Um, when we look at a patient and decide which product, Fiverr or Ryanair, is right for them, we're really looking at um, primarily improving nasal airflow and, and treating each one of their symptoms in an individual way. When we look at how the probe is actually used, uh, it enters the nose and we're able to treat uh, different areas of inflammation in the nose. And that's essentially what we're doing with the Vivare system. We're just looking to shrink tissue and remodel it. So we can easily treat the septum and any septal swell bodies and shrink that tissue. We can turn the probe and treat the turbinate tissue and shrink that. And then we can also address the nasal valve area, and that actually helps to shrink and also stiffen that sidewall um, to increase airflow and to improve uh, the internal nasal valve and airway in just a matter of minutes. This slide is just to show you about the complexity of the nerves in the nose. There are a lot of them, and they cause a lot of different issues, um, or they could cause a lot of different issues. And when we look at this, we're looking at uh, the posterior nasal nerve over here and seeing how it tracks along the inferior turbinate. Um, and many patients who complain of a chronic post-nasal drip actually have hyper irritability of that nerve. When we treat that nerve, we're able to weaken the nerve and prevent it from being so overactive. So now that we know how complex the nerves can be, let's discuss what the Ryanair treatment is all about. Um, in this slide, we can see 
uh, the probe just being passed intranasally in the nose. And believe me, once we've decongested you and anesthetized you, it's not so hard to pass that in there. Uh, once we do that, we're able to shrink the tissues. Um, the probe, we just gently press against the turbinate tissues and we, we see the turbinate tissue just shrinking. Then when we go towards the back, we're looking to actually ablate or weaken the posterior nasal nerve to decrease the hyper irritability that we see in a lot of nasal conditions. So when patients ask me why I brought this technology into my practice, it's very simple. It's because of great results. So when we look at um, studies that have been published using the Rhinair and Vivera devices, we see amazing results in a short amount of time. This particular study is looking at the Rhinair device. Um, patients will report nasal symptoms on a scale of one to 10. And what this graph shows is a very high symptom score to start. Patients were then treated, and then within two weeks, four weeks, and even 12 weeks, continued to have significant response. When we look at the reduction in their symptom scores, they achieved more than a 58% reduction. When we look at the responder rate, 100% of patients responded, meaning that every patient had at least some relief. And when we look at the side effects, no patients complained of any side effects associated or long-term complications associated with this procedure, so it's very safe. When we look at the Viver procedure, we're seeing a similar graph. Um, we're seeing that patients start out with a very high nose or nasal symptom obstruction score, and that rapidly declines by one month, continues to improve until about 12 weeks, and when followed out to 24 months or two years, so improvements have, uh, have lasted. So the really wonderful thing is that we see a 97% responder rate, which means that 97% of the people actually felt better after the procedure. Um, there were no device-related side effects or complications, so it's very, very safe. And the average reduction in nasal symptom scores was 67%, which is really high. It's been a real pleasure bringing this new technology into my practice. We've had so many patients come back and say that they've had amazing responses with such little effort. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the presentation today. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.